Intermittent social distancing, or on-again, off-again physical distancing, is an idea researchers are exploring as countries look to ease lockdown restrictions put in place to help stop the spread of the new coronavirus. Recent modeling from Harvard suggests, with no vaccine or cure, a staggered pattern of social distancing could save more lives than a one-and-done strategy. The idea of turning social distancing on and off like a switch is designed to not only help stop the spread, but it could allow the population to build immunity while at the same time ensuring the health system isn't overwhelmed. A pretty stunning announcement today from the World Health Organization now saying there's no evidence that COVID-19 survivors are immune from getting it again? A major drawback in Harvard's modeling is that it assumes immunity takes hold for long periods of time, but the science behind that remains unclear. That's one of the big problems with herd immunity is that we don't actually know whether or not people who've developed COVID-19, they will develop antibodies. However, we don't know if these antibodies are protective against reinfection. That would be a big gamble to put forward with intermittent social distancing. This brings up a very important philosophical and ethical question about economic activity and human life. How many deaths are acceptable to restore a shattered economy before the coronavirus is eradicated? When we say in Canada are saying we want to have social distancing and stomp out this infection, what we're really saying is health comes first. We need to make this virus go away and we're willing to throw a lot of wealth under the bus in order to protect population health. With intermittent social distancing, however, he argues it's the reverse of that, putting wealth ahead of health. The idea is, when the infection rate is low, we loosen social distancing restrictions and allow the population to go back to a normal life. Then, when a certain threshold is reached and the infection rate goes up again, social distancing rules are put back in place. If we try to maximize infections to allow for herd immunity, that also means that the likelihood of people dying uh, quickly is, is higher as well. One of the co-authors of the Harvard study acknowledges some of the risks, but explains the approach was put forward to spur creative thinking about what we could do moving forward. Perhaps there are some innovative ways that we could mitigate this social distancing and the loss of life through, you know, things like very effective contact tracing. Perhaps there are also kind of intermediate approaches where we um, don't do social distancing intermittently completely on and off, but instead we find some sort of middle ground where we still have some measures in place and that also allows the disease to spread very slowly while allowing us to return to some aspects of daily life. Harvard researchers believe on and off periods of social distancing will likely be needed into 2022 to manage COVID-19, as a second wave of infection could come during the cooler months. But one thing is certain, the decisions public health officials and governments will have to make on reopening their economies will be a cold calculation. And until researchers figure out if previously infected people are immune and for how long, a vaccine remains the ultimate weapon. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.